Okay, so this was the Tiger World Tapir Run. Sorry about yesterday. I uploaded the wrong video and put the wrong thumbnail and everything. I'm so smart. Uh, but this one is the actual Tiger World Tapir Run, and it spawns so many things. The Tapir is actually just busted. Like, not only can you pill it and get a free additional unit of whatever you want, but it also is just broken with summon builds because it just gives you an extra summon. You put a Orca, uh, Eagle, something like that in the back, and you're getting so many summons when you put a 1-up Tapir on it. Because you're spawning another Tapir, which is going to spawn another Eagle, which is going to spawn a Tier 6. And then, of course, the original Tapir is also going to spawn an Eagle, which is going to spawn a Tier 6. So things like that are absolutely broken. With Tiger Well Tapir, just without any equipment, I think it spawns 11 things. I believe I did the math right. Again, I'm no, like, math major or anything, so it could completely be wrong. But, yeah, maybe it's actually 12 with the last Eagle in the back. I can't remember if I counted that. Anyway, a Toucan start. Toucan is great for the early game. Put Bone Attack on it, and, uh... Yeah, you have Meat Bone on like three or four things. I actually should position the other Toucan in the third spot. That way it also gives an additional bone attack. I don't think it actually mattered here. Yeah, luckily. Early Hatching Chick, also very nice. Plus five, plus five. But yeah, this is a custom pack. So I picked these units myself. It's not really the greatest pack. It's mostly focused around buy sell for Dog and Bison. Or no, wait, it's Buffalo. Dog and Buffalo. Uh, Buffalo, I think, is just broken. It's like S tier for sure. If you get an early buffalo, it, like, sometimes is just a win. It's that good, where just one early unit is good enough to eventually get it to, like, a 50-50, and that's kind of good enough. Uh, you can also go just double bison. Um, yeah. It's really good. So, I always try to combine for an early one. It's even better. It's much better than dog. I mean, dog is pretty much half the stats, and it's just one tier earlier. So, it also, it's base stats are 2-2 versus the buffalo, which is a 5-5. Five, five. I feel like that's, uh, yeah, they probably should nerf a lot of things in this game, or they should try to buff a lot of things in this game, because right now, there's still a huge gap between what's actually good and what's bad, I think. Um, level 3 Toucan, get triple bone attack, it just causes a draw. The Frilled Dragon, I've been experimenting with a little bit, and it's a pretty good unit as well. The thing is, you need a lot of faint abilities, and this pack does not have a ton of faint abilities at the moment. It's mostly focused around buy selling again, so doesn't leave too many options, but if you do go with like Toucan, Ants, you can have like Cricket, stuff like that, get a lot of faint abilities, and the Frilled Dragon is good early game. Um, let's see, so I went with Double Hamster. You can think of a hamster as like a level 2 swan. It's uh, a lot of gold immediately, and it's very nice to just be able to roll to get the things that you want. Because right now, from these Double Hamsters, I'm getting 4 extra gold, plus I can sell them for a total of 6 extra gold. So that really almost, like, it doesn't guarantee, but it gives me such great odds to find the exact thing that I'm looking for, which is probably going to be Buffalo on this turn. That is what I'm rolling for here. Uh, you can see, like, Goldfish and Platypus, that is great. Tapir is usually worth taking, just because, uh, like... Yeah, I can pit it into anything I want to with it. Also, I knew I was going to go with summon builds, so that's a good idea too. There's the buffalo. Okay, just kidding. I rolled past it. That's right. I was thinking about going summoning. Okay, normally I would just take buffalo there. Uh, I do think, like, you probably want to take it on turn 7 or earlier. at Like, turn 8, maybe, at the very start of the turn. But, like, turn 9, I found it's too late to start taking buffaloes usually. Uh, you can find better scalers or just like pivot into summoning. Custom packs have honestly been pretty tricky to win with. I've struggled a little bit. Like, there's a period where I just lost many games in a row. And uh, I di wasn't sure what I was doing wrong. But the problem is there's a lot of tapir butterfly builds that you run into in the later rounds. And those are just really tricky to actually try to counter. Uh, the best one is apparently a Iguana. Just the level 1 Iguana can actually like... Uh, anytime something gets summoned, it's a 1-1, one, one, so it just immediately snipes it, which is just beautiful. So, that is the ideal counter. The problem is, I don't actually have Iguana in this pack for whatever reason. I just, I don't like having a lot of bad units early on. It's only a 1-3. Honestly, should just replace, like, the fish or whatever and put, uh, Iguana. Would make sense. And then, of course, you have to find it, which is also a little bit of a problem. So, right now, I've got Tiger, Tapir, with a deer in the back. Not really the build I'm looking for. Definitely want Eagle. I think it's a much better spawner because of the base stats. And, yeah. Uh, right now, get uh, quite a few buses. Still good enough to win that round. So, pretty nice. Uh, pretty strong summon build. But, I also, I believe I'm going to sell the pair. So, there's the 
the eagle because I need to put a tiger in this team. The tiger gives so many extra spawns and I think it's worth it to go minus three, minus three, or even minus nine, minus nine for that many more spawns. The eagle level up doesn't really matter too much. The main things I actually want to level up are going to be the tiger and the turkey. Uh, because the tiger will affect two things when it's, uh, the whale dies, so that's the most important thing to level up. Unfortunate dolphin snipe there, but it did spawn an octopus. I also, I tried to make sure that all of the tier 6s that could spawn has some kind of good ability, potentially. I mean, there's, uh, there's not that many good tier 6s, but, like, I've added boar into the pack, even though it's absolutely awful, just because it gets plus 2, plus 2 every time it attacks, and it's got, like, okay base stats, so that's kind of nice. Um, I knew I was going to sell Parrot, so I don't think I bother freezing this one. Okay, I do. <laughs> wow. I guess there's a chance that if I level the Parrot up, it gives me a Tiger. I don't know. I question my own decisions sometimes, but because this is a summon build, this is why this video is so long. And look, there's a Tapir Butterfly build. They don't have one-ups on it yet, so maybe there's a chance. No, I don't have enough summons yet, sadly, but, you know, that happens. I really dislike the Tapir Butterfly build. I feel like it's a bug. It's I'm hoping it gets patched out. If not, then I'm actually going to have to just have Iguana in the pack. Like You can also try to counter it with Crocodile and Dolphin. Those do work pretty well. Since in Arena, you probably aren't going to go with like Lioness or Chicken Scaling, which can cause the Dolphin and Crocodile to go before the thing actually transforms, which kind of messes things up. But uh, right now, it's pretty nice. Level 2 Gorilla, that's a great spawn if it can live a hit. And then a lot of mammoths as well, which is pretty nice. But yeah, so crocodile, dolphin, hawk also, and then like parrot if necessary. Sometimes you can, like, if you they really want protection, you can put uh, melon armor on the thing in the back. And then if your thing goes first, it won't kill, but just has to make sure it goes second. It has lower attack. Alright, so now I'm just rolling for uh, the tiger. Decide to take another eagle here. So... Quite a few spawns. Level 2 turkey. This team, is, it's doing surprising the will. Like, this team right here, let's see. They've only got, like, a bison, so not really too strong. A 1-up anteater, though, with a level 3 turkey. Okay, I didn't really notice that. The walrus, interesting addition to that pack as well. Oh, wow. Just barely a draw. The peanut on the last unit was a little bit unfortunate. But, uh... The walrus is kind of funny. It does make it so if you have things with 1-ups, it could just replace the 1-ups with peanuts, which is kind of bad, but hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, and this all, I guess this build specifically, it doesn't really require a lot of 1-ups, which is kind of nice, but I would, I'm not sure how it actually fares against just a whole bunch of like 1-up tapirs versus a tiger whale tapir. That should be a good test. I would like to see how it goes, because 1-up tapir again is just kind of busted. Uh, let's see, another summon build. Surprisingly, a lot of summon builds, not a lot of uh, tapir butterflies. So I got a little bit lucky this run because I did have to do this multiple times. This team kind of does lose to just a whole bunch of 50-50s. Like, if you have a one-up tapir with a butterfly, you're spawning. Uh, is it... So you get two more 50-50s, and you can do that, like, three times. So you can have, like, seven 50-50s. Or eight, I guess, since the front unit is probably also a 50-50. But there we go, there's the tiger. I am on lethal. So this is a little scary. There's definitely a lot of teams that beat this. Again, just a dolphin probably destroys my team. That's the thing about tiger, whale, uh, whatever, is that it's really a glass cannon build. Like, one thing dies and your entire team is ruined here. Literally, like, yeah, so the eagle dies, then it messes up the tapir. The tapir dies, then the things won't spawn out of the whale. The whale dies, then obviously that messes things up. And the tiger dies, you lose a ton of summons. Turkey dies, you lose a bunch of stats. So hopefully they have absolutely zero snipers. But you can see how many summons that just came out of that whale. So many. And also there's a tiger behind it. So that tiger was behind the boar, made its ability go off twice. How exciting is that? Uh, but yeah, now I'm looking to level up tiger, level up whale level up turkey and that's all i want please please game just give me one level up how hard could it be nothing that turn the odds are so low like there's chocolate in this pack so my odds of finding what i want in like 10 rolls is like 90 percent it should happen most of the time okay got a fly not so good gorilla unfortunately dies in one hit another fly i guess fly isn't too helpful when it's spawned first but there's the peanut and then it spawns a boar which gets a draw okay interesting I could put a 1-up on the eagle in the back if I want to. Uh, there is a 1-up. Do I decide to do that? I could also 1-up the turkey in case it gets sniped. 
all right, decided to just look for level two tiger or level three turkey and not finding it. This was maybe not the greatest luck. Okay, finally got it. Double chocolate. Okay, there's a good roll. Uh, level three tapir is probably the worst thing to level up. It'd be easier to get level two whale instead here. Or I could go for level three turkey, which is probably the best. Okay, here is a tapir butterfly build. But interestingly, they don't have 50-50s. The gorilla was very good there. Let's see, what do I get? Orca, two more summons. Well, okay, only one because it's at the front. Unfortunately, it's a dog. The tapir now is just so much RNG. Uh, there's a boar, which is pretty nice. And there we go, we beat that team. Again, it wasn't a 50-50 tapir butterfly team. But still, just to be able to beat that team is pretty nice. Uh, level 3 turkey, also pretty cool. 1-up. Probably just one up the eagle for some extra summons. And I don't think I should go for level 3 tape here. Probably worth it to go for the uh, tiger or the whale instead. Mammoth is a great opening spawn. There's plus 4, plus 4 for our team. Uh, another boar also gets plus 4, plus 4. But they get a level 3 gorilla. No. And the coconut armor gets so much value. But the peanuts. And. Oh. Wait, it's a one-up. Oh, no. Wait. Okay, we got super lucky. It spawned an orca, which spawned a badger and caused me not to lose. Oh, my God. Just the RNG was totally on my side there. Probably should have lost that round. Okay, got another tape here. This is potentially the last round, though, which is a little sad because I did want to get level 3 tiger, level 3 whale. That way it spits out the level 3 eagles, which spits out a level a tier 6 that's also level 3 with triple base stats. And another tape here butterfly build. Wow. Uh, you can see the base stats of the eagle are already pretty nice with the level 3 turkey, and then that mammoth was also pretty good. There's a walrus, which helped out a little bit, and a level 2 octopus, which is doing great work, but look at all those butterflies. Am I going to be able to actually get through that? The peanut spawns an orca, which spawns another snake, and it's a draw again. I can't believe it. Wow, just lucking out again because of the orca. I kind of forgot that like so many draws happened during this build, but that was so extremely lucky. Uh, melon armor on the turkey, I guess. Like, there's still the chance that it gets replaced by the the walrus, and then bone attack just to spend my last three gold. Didn't get the level three, sadly, or a level up on the whale. Didn't really see any whales. Another tapir butterfly. See, this is what happens in the late game in arena. I hate these builds so much, and I wish I could just get one iguana and destroy them. That would be so satisfying. But it'd be really hard to fit onto this team. Honestly, we'd probably have to sell turkey. Uh, but there we go. The peanuts on the eagle absolutely clutches it. Just an RNG team. But honestly, it seems pretty good. Like, being able to beat those teams with Tiger Will Tape here. Not even level threes across the board. A pretty fun team. I'd, I'd recommend trying it out. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.